Hello and welcome to the fine people of Machinima Sports. How is everybody doing today? Not as fan again with you today. MLB 2K10 My Player Series featuring Joe Broadway of the San Francisco Giants. And in this episode, Joe is working himself right on up to the All-Star break of his second Major League season. And here you see he has completed the Hall of Fame goal of being named to the National League All-Star team. So, um, you got that word about a week in advance, and here I decide to sim um, on up to the All-Star game time, because it sounds like more fun than playing the Padres and uh, other teams that have been uh, pounding on. Anyway, so he's also invited to play in Home Run Derby, because he's had 22 home runs up into the break. So, uh, here you see Home Run Derby starting up, and um, a very curious thing you'll notice here as uh, Mark DeRosa here is uh, shown as one of the participants in the Home Run Derby um, and they'll go uh, through the lineups here and then you'll see uh, Teixeira uh, next from the Yankees of course uh, next up next contestant uh, is uh, Adam Lind Toronto Blue Jays looks like he has uh, 20 homers at that point coming in you've got Dan Ugla of the Marlins. Also uh, 20 homers on the season at that point. And um, Ryan Ludwig, St. Louis Cardinals, 23 homers. And then I believe next is uh, your, uh, our guy Joe Broadway, 23 homers coming into the break. So, uh, you know, he definitely fits in with the crowd here. You can see why they would. Uh, ask him to participate in Joey Votto there you go also with 23 homers uh, from the Cincinnati Reds <clears throat> there may be one other here uh, yep there you go uh, Colby Rasmus also from St. Louis so St. Louis is uh, flexing their muscles here and uh, not even including pool holes so you'll see here in the interest of speeding things up uh, I sim through the batters before me and when it comes my turn here and then obviously I'll play through uh, let's just say Joe Broadway, um, case of the jitters the first time um, showing on the big stage here in the Home Run Derby. Um, I'd like to say that I crushed the ball out onto the cove and out of the stadium and uh, all that, but um, in reality, uh, Joe uh, struggled in this, in this uh, format here. So, and, and a weird uh, way that they do the Home Run Derby as you'll see, actually, I do reach the seats here. Uh, yep, that one's over the fence. So, but that'll be the first one for this round. For some reason, they do a round robin of uh, three outs, three outs, and then four outs. Uh, so the first round really takes forever to get through here. And again, I sim the other batters um, who are all crushing home runs around me, and I only have uh, one in the total there. So here comes my second set of three outs. So for some reason, instead of just giving you ten, like they do, um, as far as I know, in the real thing, they just they give you your 10 outs uh, in the first round. You play three, then three. I don't know if it's for the sake of uh, presentation for the game or what, but I thought that was a little strange. Anyway, there's another out. Um, yet another one. And so just uh, struggling to find my power here when the uh, national audience is watching. So... Um, and I missed that one entirely, so yep, so sit down. <laughs> so through six, only one homer, and as you can see, that's not going to buy it. As Teixeira has got 15, Rasmus has 18, Ludwig with 12, and so on. So here's my last uh, set of four outs, and uh, I don't think things get much better. So the strange thing I want you to note, uh, look at where this home run derby is going on. Um, yep, that's my home park, uh, AT&T there in San Francisco. Uh, just kind of store that in memory, and... Uh, remember that when we come to the actual all-star game itself uh, because there's some something strange going on and I uh, don't know the logic behind it but anyway uh, there I did hit one more but then I whiff again so um, not gonna make it out of the first round um, you know represented barely but uh, there we are down to the, f the uh, final four second round and as that plays out, you're actually going to see teammates go against each other. A pair of Cardinals uh, for the championship round there, Rasmus and Ludwig. So uh, sim that too. Um, and they're hitting them at a huge rate. And Ludwig uh, is able to rake in 19 to Rasmus' 16 to take the home run derby title. 
uh, here at AT&T Park. So, um, yeah, I was uh, I was not even in the same uh, same ballpark as these guys. Uh, the rookie, well, <laughs> he's not a rookie anymore. Rookie to the home run derby, Joe Broadway, just uh, not up to snuff. So here they are celebrating uh, and congratulating Bloodwick on his win. And so here we go, um, All-Star Game. It's time to get away. Congratulations on it's making the All-Star Game. This is the chance to prove you belong with the best players in the league. So definitely an honor at this point in the career to make it to the All-Star Game. And um, that's uh, it's quite an accomplishment. So Joe will take that and uh, try to represent a little better than he did in the Home Run Derby. Now, uh, like I said, store it away. Where was the Home Run Derby? It was at AT&T Park, home of the, the Giants. But where is the All-Star Game? Apparently the All-Star Game is uh, at Target Field in Minneapolis. So... Uh, Somehow the logic of this game thinks that uh, the the events are separate and uh, don't happen at the at the same ballpark in the same year, which is um, another one to file away under. Um, obviously, well, I don't know if you want to call that a glitch, but uh, it's weird, definitely. So there I am grounding out, a little anxious. Uh, did not was not able to work the count, and I was not able to get a hit off of Sabathia. So. A little bit different approach the second time around up to the plate. Um, some of the jitters out. I say, okay, you know, um, Sabathia is good out there, but let's make him work a little better, a little more. Um, so I take ball one here and uh, hope to stay ahead in the account and get a pitch to drive. And um, actually, I swing, have a okay cut at that, follow it off, 1-1. One, one. And as Sabathia keeps dealing there, breaking ball at my shins, I'm able to get out of the way. So I got a favorable hitter's count, 2-1. Looking for a good pitch to hit. Sabathia doesn't give it to me there. I got a 3-1 count. So uh, should be a good meaty one here, except uh, that's, uh, that's wide and outside. So I uh, definitely was patient this time around and was able to take the walk. And uh, that's something I don't do often, so... Uh, every time I do, I'm kind of proud of it. Uh, I'm pretty much a free swinger, trying to work counts more. And um, so I get on the base pass and um, trying to do something here, getting the hit and run going. And I will continue on to third base. That throw um, high and a bit wide and late. So the hit and run works. Get over to third base. And unfortunately, the runner on first, he tries to steal with two men out and gets gunned down, so uh, it ends at third there. And I get a couple chances in the field. Uh, take a grounder, touch a bag there. And uh, yet another here with a runner on. Hot shot there, pick it right off the, before it hits the grass. And uh, that's out number three. So uh, third at bat, uh, here 0 for 1 with a walk. And I believe Sabathia is still on the mound. I'm working with uh, runner on. And um, this time, um, again, starts me out with a ball. So uh, trying to stay ahead of Sabathia here. And uh, maybe get my first all-star game hit. And uh, that's a nice pitch. Uh, a bit up, but on the corner. Paints it and gets the call there. So a one-on-one -on -one count. And Sabathia deals low and outside again. And um, once again, a nice uh, hitter's count. And seeing if I can uh, use it to my advantage here. And um, there you go. Another pitch uh, right on the outside, low outside corner. Looks like it would have been a strike had I uh, not swung in it. I swung and missed. So two and two count. I'm able to finally uh, dribble a ball through the, uh, the hole between third and short and collect my first All-Star game hit. So um, pretty cool moment. And uh, they'll come up again, um, one for two, uh, this, but with the walk, this is actually my fourth plate appearance. So this time, Sabathia out of the game, um, So, uh, but I've got uh, bases loaded and nobody out, so uh, a big opportunity to uh, uh, pad the 5 nothing National League uh, lead here, but... Um, 
hoping to just uh, drive the ball somewhere with no outs. Oh, oh and that's a nice pitch uh, to get ahead 0-2, and, and so I'm, I'm kind of at a, uh, although I've tried to be patient, a bad count here against my my batter and uh, end up grounding into a double play. So not exactly what I was looking for at that at bat. Did get the run in, but that'll be no RBI since it was a double play. So it ends up being a National League win and uh, got the first hit in the All-Star game, so that's pretty cool. Collected 312 experience points. Not too bad for an exhibition game. So that'll wrap up Joe's first uh, All-Star weekend experience. Um, all in all, it was uh, it was a so-so experience, but uh, for a first, he'll take it. So come on back next time and pick up the second half of the season uh, as Joe Broadway advances the career.